Hey, Crafty Peace, Angel Holt, and Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to bring to you a shabby chic altar frame uh, that I promised y'all. And uh, this is a great tutorial, and I have to make one because I love bling, and I love crowns, and I love pink, and I love shabby chic, and I know you do too. So um, today, I'm going to show you how to alter this frame just the inside okay and this frame is one by smooth foam as you can see here a uh, smooth foam picture frame and uh, it's very very light and I've painted it with a pink uh, acrylic paint and um, I've let it dry and everything now I ran out of chipboard but I pieced some chipboard pieces together and I glued uh, taped them together now, this is going to set in here like this, but I'm going to cover the front of it with burlap, okay? So, the front of it here, I'm going to put two layers of burlap on the front. And then I'm going to show you the next step that's going to require lots of pearls, lots of bling, and something fantastic so uh, step back watch the process and I'll pop in when um, I need be and also uh, I'll pop in captions and tell you what I'm doing and stuff but just enjoy the process of making something shabby chic because I sure am so see you in a few
crafty peeps. Okay, as you see, I uh, got the crown done. I'm still not done with this area here. Um, what I've done here is I have glued on some pearl trim around the perimeter of the frame. And uh, I'm using just hot glue. And that's what I use to adhere all of the different pearls that you see on this frame. Um, this is super fun. The crown you saw me uh, trace on is a free image uh, that I found on uh, Google. You can just uh, search um, crown coloring pages or uh, black and white crown pattern stuff like that and several different styles will pop up that are free to, for you to use and um, you can use those and um, trace out the style of crown that you want now I pulled out some bling and I've been talking about my bling club um, I'm going to start uh, offering a bling, a bling club. I have it all on my information in my group. I mean, not my group, my uh, blog. And um, I'll put a link in the description box down below. But a lot of people have asked me to bring back my bling that I had once sold before. In fact, I'll um, show you here. These were the styles that I sold before. Um when I did sell it this was my old design with uh, it was called bling splendor um, bling club bling line and uh, these are the different sizes and stuff that um, I sold in different styles I done a lot of research and found the best quality bling and I want to instead of bringing it back as a product I'm bringing it back in the form of a group uh, a club that you can join and I encourage you if you love bling as much as I do um, follow the link in the description box down below and read more about my club and it's the bling club it's $20 a month plus shipping um, and it is international so I would really uh, like um, if you have any questions or anything let me know but I know a lot of people love bling as much as I do and uh, in fact, um, this month, if people sign up, these are going to be in the uh, Bling um, Club Kit along with some other yummy pieces and stuff. So, I've been doing my research and talking to my peeps <laughs> and stuff. But, what I'm using here is a beautiful piece that, as you see, I once sold before. Um, and it's this piece here. It was one of my favorites. Oop! Well, I just dropped it. Well, I'll be dying. Where did I drop it? Okay, here we are. Um, it's a beautiful pearl and rhinestone. And the quality bling that I use has this beautiful shimmer to it. That means it's not plastic. And uh, as you see, these are beautiful um, diamante or dominique or diamond quality. So, what I'm going to do is simply just hot glue um, these onto the top of this right here. And then I'm going to glue these pear shapes. And the pear shapes do not have shanks on them they are a beveled just like a a, a real uh, pear shaped diamond would be beautiful pieces ready for projects like this and see if you join the bling club um, you can have bling and use it in projects like this. Um, I have a lot of testimonials. Um, a lot of girls have been asking me to bring my bling back because they can't find the quality I offer anywhere else. And I've been thinking about it over the course of several months. 
So, all right. Um, as you see there, it's beautiful. So this is a, a pearl crown mosaic with frame. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, you can do a lot with the frame. Again, this is a smooth foam frame. And how I'm going to hang this. Oops, a couple of pieces fell. I must have not had them glued on. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. And where did you come from? There was another one from somewhere. I don't know. Oh, and if you get um, glue strings, hot glue gun webs on your pearls, just run your heat gun over them and they'll melt away and go away and you won't see them anymore. Oh, I think it came from right there. In fact. Yep, right there. Okay, so let's try this again. What I'm going to do to hang this on my wall... is I'm going to find the center of the frame and we're going to measure okay that's 12 13 14 so it's 7 inches is the center so I'm going to make a mark Okay, I'm going to pull it up here and make the same mark on the back here, like that, okay? And I'm simply just going to take a paper clip like this. And I'm going to bend it up like that. And I'm just going to glue it to the back here. Let me put another glue stick. Like this. Hot, hot, hot. I need to use those finger uh, protectors that Vanessa Bork sent me. In fact, I got them right here. Just remembered them. I love these little things. They're just, see, I can wipe the glue off and it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> Thank you for saving my phalanges. Okay, here we go. All right. So, it's ready to hang. I'm going to flip this over. And I see I lost another pearl. Just remember that um, you will probably have to glue on pearls um, when you first create it and everything. Because some of them, when you squeeze them together, you think they're together. And then when gravity takes over, no, you did not get them all together. So, um, another thing you can do to help bring out um, the, uh, the beautiful design of this is um, you can use um, rub and buff on it. But I don't think I want to do that. I just think I want to keep it shabby chic and like this. And it really speaks volumes, as you can see here. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how beautiful that bling captured the light. Stunning. All right. Well, um, I hope this has inspired you to make your very own pearl crown mosaic frame. If you have any trouble finding these frames or ordering these frames, let me know because I can order them. I'm going to look on the Smooth Foam uh, website and see if I can find it where you can order it. Um, I, I have some here. Um, I'm going to make some other projects with them. But this is the Shabby Chic frame. Again, I painted it in pink. Uh, two different 
shades of pink uh, acrylic paint I first gessoed it so that the acrylic paint will stick um, and then the burlap simply putting it on a piece of, uh, of uh, chipboard and the pattern again I used is from Google and all I googled was a crown coloring page or black and white crown pattern and it popped up I cut it out and traced it and uh, filled it with beautiful pearl and bling and made it a masterpiece so this will set uh, be put in my craft room in fact and I cannot wait to display it so let me know if you have any questions about any of the products I used um, and uh, I hope you sign up for my bling uh, club. I really want to make this work. I've done clubs and, and kits in the past. And they were a flop, not because of the quality or the time or anything. It's just people are wanting something new and different. And I believe a bling club um, is something new and different. We don't see a lot of them. In fact, I haven't seen one yet. So... Um, but I really want to try to get this off the ground and I know I can with your help but let me know if you have any questions with that as well so until next crafty project I'll see you then oh and stay for photos bye